Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. With more than 2 million downloads weekly, Taiwan CSS is something you definitely can't pass by neutral. That's why we have decided to release this new library to extend Tywind functionality. We call it Tywind Element. So if you want to know how to start using Tywind CSS, a pure Tywind version, and how to add Tywind elements to it, you have to watch this video. But that's not all, because by the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how to start using Tywind without need to install anything, like literally anything, on your PC, because we're going to utilize our browser to work with Tywind. And if this is not enough, I'm also going to show you how you can deploy your Tywind project to web to secure it with SSL and to get the free domain absolutely for free with just a single command. So if you don't want to miss it, keep watching. As you may already notice, Tywind became really famous in the last couple of months. And the reason why is because it might be not totally, but definitely changed the approach to web development. So Tywind is utility first framework. What does it mean? It actually means that every single a CSS property is available as a class. So you don't have to create or you, have, you don't have to use your CSS directly. You don't have to combine different classes. You have a class for everything. So if you want to change, uh, if you want to change the, for example, width, size of something, you can use a predefined class will, will up, which will apply a proper width to the element. If you want to change color, you can just use a proper color with a proper value to get a different saturation on it. The same applies to the typography, shadows, and so on. So, so many people say that this change um, the way they're working with an HTML right now because they don't have to really, you know, jump between HTML and CSS. And this is really cool. However, there are some downsides as well. First of all, Tywin CSS is a CSS library. So uh, as you can expect, there is no uh, JavaScript involved. And as a result, it has some struggles with the dynamic components uh, where some animation or some logic is required. That's kind of obvious. Secondly, if you're using the same classes again and again, just to change the same color, you might end up with um, duplicated code in many places. Like imagine you're having a button and then you're going to apply 15 classes to it. So everywhere you're going to use this button, you will have this code you know, repeated. Uh, there is a solution to that. And I would propose you to use either apply so you can combine couple of classes into one, then use just one single class, or you can actually, in the bigger project, you can, and you're supposed to create a component and then uh, reuse these components, like you can do in React, Vue, Angular, and so on. Uh, however, again, when it comes to the simple HTML, that might be a little bit tricky. So to solve all this issue we encountered while working with Tau in CSS, we have decided to create our own library, and now we want to share it this library with you. So within Tywind Elements, which is an open source library for you, we have prepared for you some predefined components. As I mentioned before, within pure Tywind, there are some issues with uh, more dynamic components, like for example, dropdowns. So you can't find them there because there is no uh, there is no JavaScript for that. Within Tywind Elements, you can get them ready at your disposal, so you can immediately just start using them. Simply copy code and you are ready to uh, start using this. Other components like Carousel or um, models, they are also not available by default. You will have to build them from scratch. Within the library, you will get them uh, immediately out of the box with all the effects like this static backdrop, which doesn't allow you to close the model either without accepting or closing model itself. And there are plenty of them. I don't want to go through all of them now, but I strongly encourage you to check, uh, check them by yourself. Now, the second thing which I mentioned before is that you, within Tywind Elements, you are actually getting predefined com components. So you don't have to actually build anything from scratch. You can, st you can still do that, but you can also grab this predefined button and you can simply just play with it and add it or customize to your needs. And this is the same for everything over here. So you're gonna find ready to use components which you can just add to your project and edit if you like, or if you don't want to, you can keep it as they are. 
The next important thing, which you're not going to find in other Tailwind libraries, is that most of these libraries offer you free components. However, when it comes to a block of um, components, design blocks, they are usually uh, the pro components, which means you have to pay for them. Within our library, we are giving this absolutely for free. So you can just grab whatever you like from our predefined block of codes and simply start using them in your project. So you can just copy this, click get this code, and this is getting us smoothly to the next subject, which is our playground. So we have prepared for you, again, for free, uh, this playground, uh, which allows you to work with the code in the web browser. So you don't have to install anything. If you like something, um, you can just open this in the browser. You can create account so you could store your snippets. You can share them, you can show it to your friends and you can also browse uh, snippets from other users. If you just click here, playground, you're going to find some snippets predefined by other users. And uh, this might be a really nice inspiration for you. By the way, this is a good point to mention that uh, sometimes you're going to see uh, classes like Carousel, which might sound against the Tywind CSS guidelines, but I just want to uh, uh, ensure you that the, re this is, um, the, the reason we are using this is to have the selector to catch via JS. So unlike the other Mm, libraries this is not that single that single class like card or carousel is making everything uh, it's just for the sake of js to handle this component mm, and finally i mentioned that there is a free hosting for you and i'm going to show you that by the end of this video now let's jump into code so i'm going to show you how to start using tywind, tywind elements right away so navigate to tywind elements click get started and let's go with the easiest option which is cdn now i'm gonna create a new folder let's call it cdn and i'm gonna open this with visual studio code you can use any editor i just like this one most and let's create first file actually that's going to be also the last file in this project index.html let me make it larger for you and let's start with the exclamation mark then press tab we're going to get the basic uh, html code now within the head i'm going to paste what i just copied from the documentation page so we've got this uh, CSS and now let's also copy the JS part. We're gonna add this by the end of our body tag. Okay, and now let's grab some component, let's say carousel, just to show you that the JS works perfectly fine. So let's put it here, let's save it, and now let's open this with live server. This will open a project, and as you can see, it works right away now this is the easiest way however if you are about to build some more complex project let's see how you can do it with the npm installation so let's get back let me close this unnecessary stuff and let's get back to installation instruction and now we go with the npm so let's start with the pure uh, tywind css project so let's come here let's get started uh, let's again create a new folder for us. Let's call it npm. And let's again open this in Visual Studio Code. Now let's open command line. By the way, you have to have Node.js installed. If you don't have it, then just go to Node js.org and get the latest version for your operating system i already have this one so i don't need to install it and then let's copy this first command if you want to check whether you have node or not just type node minus v and that should show you the current version of node so if you can see the version that means your node is okay check the version uh, and compare to the latest one whether you have um, 
quite uh, current, not the obsolete version. If you have, then you are fine to go. So npm install. By the way, before we install it, let's initialize our project first. So npm init, and I'm gonna go with the default values. You can choose your name for the project. You can cho choose version, add some description, test command, and so on. But let's, I'm gonna just keep it uh, with the default values. So now npm install minus the tywint CSS. That's gonna install us in the tywint library and the next command which is npx tywind css init um, this is gonna initialize our project what does it mean it's gonna create as the configuration file here tywind config js now we should uh, add this configuration to the project i'm gonna skip this part because we will be adding this configuration from tywind elements but that's later on so let's move to the next step now let's create um uh, input CSS file under the source uh, folder that can be any folder uh, but let's just stick to the documentation so input CSS and let's paste this tree base part of the Tywind uh, library now we should actually build our CSS so basically with this command we will get our input and then we will create the compiled CSS. I'm gonna skip it for now because we will, uh, we're will we gonna do it once we add Tywind components to it. So we'll get back to that. And now let's create the index.html file again under source folder. So new file index.html, copy paste this one and we have CSS ready. Now we have a basic uh, Tywind CSS project. Let's add Tywind components to it. Let me close this one and let's get back to the configuration. Or oh, actually, before that, we obviously have to install it first. So, back again to uh, command line npm install tw elements. That's gonna install the library. Now, let's grab this configuration and let's just replace whatever we have here with. Uh, this configuration. Keep in mind that if you have existing project with a configuration, uh, you would have to just carefully add this plugins part in here and make sure that this path is also added to your content configuration. Since this is a new project, we can simply just uh, replace everything with the one which is there in the docs. Uh, now it's time time to add. Um, our JS. So we're going to add this in our index.html file. By the end of the body, I'm going to put it and we need to update our path, which will be a slash node modules and then tw elements and so on. So we have it there and that's it. Now the last step is to use the one and the command which we just skipped. So let's just compile our uh, CSS in, to uh, output CSS and within this folder you should see and this this folder should 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 get created and then within the output CSS you should see this file with uh, around 4,000 lines as for today but this might change depending on the library um, size in the future uh, however briefly around a few thousand lines so that's it now let's check whether our file works let's save everything all the files and then let's open this with a live server okay so here we have hello world and let's add carousel again copy code paste it here save it and sometimes you might encounter error like this this is because two processes are trying to get the same file. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop my uh, live server. I'm going to uh, remove this output CSS from here, delete, and then let's recreate it. And let's, once it's done, let's just try again. And now it should work like a charm. This is for some reason happening on my Windows 11. Uh, it shouldn't happen on other operating system, but uh, if you encounter that, that's the way to solve it. So this is how you use it in a more proper way. So now let's see how we can deploy it with MDB Go. Talking about MDB Go, you, if you want to uh, start using it, navigate to mdbgo.com uh, and create your account if you don't have one yet. I'm already logged in, uh, but if you go there, uh, 
as a new user, you will see this sign up for free and you can create this free account here. Once you have it, just run our, this command line. So let's run npm install minus g mdb dash CLI. That's going to install the newest version of MDB CLI, which allows you to publish projects to web with just a single command line. Uh, so once you have account, once you're logged in here, uh, you will get also get access to your dashboard, which we'll get back uh, to in a second. Once installation is over, we can now log in to MDB. So type MDB login, provide your username and password the one which you just created and we are successfully logged in. Now we can publish our project. One remark here though, during the installation along according to the Tywin CSS guidelines, we have created our index.html within the source file. However, if you want to deploy the project, usually you would have some build script which will move the final file out to the dist folder. We don't have it here, so we'll, what we're gonna do, we just move our file onto dist and we can still keep it here. That's perfectly fine. Now let's just do mdb publish. This will ask us a few questions. If you are doing this for the first time, it will create mdb file, mm, provide the project name, so let's say um, twnpm, then we choose whether we use frontend, backend, WordPress, in our case it's frontend, and finally, which package manager we want to use. I'm going to go with the NPM. As you can see, within a few seconds, our project got published and we can visit it on this URL. So you can see that this is SSL as secured and it took us just seconds to publish the project to the web. Now we can get back to our dashboard. And if you navigate to projects, you're going to see all your published projects including the npm what else you can do you can create a git repository you have ftp access to your project you can even provide access to your project you can share the access to other friends developers or workmates mm, so i hope you're gonna like it i hope you're gonna enjoy tywind let us know um, what do you like let us know what else we could do uh, to make it even better because we really want to make this uh, library uh, to help you with your daily development and to help you create really amazing stuff thank you for watching and keep coding